All right, welcome back to the series of building out the Spots app. In the last two videos, we built out the UI table view and all those methods, and then we kind of structured our data in the next video and got it to look like this and have it in our table view the way it should be. Now, in the completed app, it looks like this. I wanna give you a refresher on what it looks like. And in the completed app, we have these cells opening and closing, right? So in this video, what I want to do before we hop into that, that cell drop down and everything is I want to show you how to create a custom UI table view cell with NS layout constraints for programmatic auto layout to kind of get this image with these, the title and the text view in there. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's head over to our app and let's just start by creating a new folder in our application, a new group, and we'll call this views and then in here i'm going to create a new file and i'm just going to call this card cell swift okay now in card cell we need to import ui kit and then we also need to make this a class called card cell and derive it or inherit from ui table view cell okay so what i want to do here is just kind of get the default cell started up and since it inherits ui table view cell we can pretty much switch out our cells to use card cell instead of the default cell and nothing should change okay and now let me show you what i mean let's type in init and choose that first initializer and let's choose this initializer with the reuse identifier and style and you just want to pass these in and then pass, yeah, just pass these in, right? What that's gonna do is it's really just using UI table view cell, and this is what is under the hood that you normally don't see. We're also gonna have to put in this required initializer, must be provided by subclass of UI table view cell. I think they mean UI, UI view, because every UI view requires this. I'm not even sure what it does, but you, you need it, right? So there we go, let's go ahead and subclass our thing now let's uh go to table view controller and instead of registering ui table view cell let's register card cell now if you remember in the first video i kind of mentioned this a bit i said hey we're going to register this now just to kind of give you an idea of what it is initially okay because that's kind of how learning works the more time it's kind of gone over the more you're going to comprehend it okay so we'll say card cell and if you remember there was one more place we had to do that so try and remember but we're gonna go down there and do that now and I'll just show you. I'm gonna scroll down here and we need to cast our, okay, we don't even have to scroll down, it's right here. We don't, we need to cast our table view cell as a card cell. So we'll say as exclamation point. So right there, right to the left of my simulator as, and we're gonna say card cell. So basically you just wanna cast this as a card cell so that it knows that, okay, we're dealing with card cell dot swift which means any code we put in here, we are going to basically have access to in our cells in our table view controller, okay? So now that we have that, we kind of got to think about how we're getting our data into our cell. Right now, we're just manually applying it to our text label provided by the default cell and the image into our default image view, okay? Now, just to show you that it works, I'm gonna recompile it, and you're gonna see that even though we're using card cell, it looks exactly the same. Now, the reason it's doing that is because we are, we do have a custom class, right? But we haven't done anything. We've simply created an initializer and then the required initializer. There's literally no difference between this class right now and the normal UI table view class, UI table view cell class. Okay, so to show you how we can kind of modify it a bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say content view dot background color is equal to dot yellow, just to kind of show you that we are indeed using this class and it's not just using the default UI table view cell still. And then that's the whole point of this all, the whole point of applying another cell or a new class is that we can modify it now. It's not just the default one, okay? So by default, we have this image view and this section, right? Or the title. We don't really want those because if I flip over to the completed app, you can see it's quite a bit different, okay? Now you might think, okay, well, we can just move them, right? Now, I don't even think that's possible. Maybe it is, but what we're gonna do is we are going to create custom views so we can do that. We're gonna do that in a bit, okay? But first thing I wanna do is I wanna get the data into there, right? We wanna get this section data.title and feature image inside of our, our card cell. Because right now, we're just kinda of manually setting it. And we could do this throughout the entire like course. Like we could see, keep doing this and then just reference our image view that we're gonna create 
in the UI table view function, but it's better to kind of get the whole piece of data, the whole entire section data into the cell because it belongs to that cell, right? It's just kind of a cleaner way of doing things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into cardcell.swift and we're gonna create a variable of section data. Well, of not section data, but of cell data, right? So let me look at this, right? We have section data. I really meant to say cell data here. We should have said cell data there. Sorry if that confused you in the last video. Rename those to cell data and just make sure everything is working. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable inside of our card cell that will allow us to store the entire cell data object. That's basically gonna allow us to have all the information of one cell data inside of our inside of our class, right? So each one of these, it's gonna give us the entire cell data. So let's go ahead and go into our card cell and create that by saying var cell data is of type cell data, question mark, cause it's optional. And we'll say guard, sorry, we'll say did set cause we wanna be able to set it. And then we're gonna say, okay, well guard let cell data is equal to cell data else return. Now you don't really have to do this. You could just use a exclamation point and say, okay, it exists, but there always is the chance that you don't do that. Right now, let me show you what I mean. If we try and say, let's do this first. Okay. Let's go into table view controller and let's just move these two, right? Let's cu cut those out and let's go into our card cell and paste them into that did set. And then we're not going to be able to say cell because we're no longer using it as a cell. It's just, we're in the cell. So we can just say self, or we can just say text label, right? Let's go ahead and recompile our application. Well, here's the deal. So let's use an exclamation point, right? Let's unwrap it. I'm just trying to explain optionals a bit. Let's recompile our app and it's actually going to break, right? It's going to crash. And I want to show you why. Okay, so we're running and then it's gonna crash. Okay, it didn't crash, that's actually really strange. So let's go, hmm, that's really weird. Okay, it's good. the reason it didn't crash, this is actually exactly why we should use this anyway. The reason it didn't crash is because we never set it, right? So there's no way that this code is never run. Like if you were to add a print statement in here, it's never run because we're never setting cell data. But if we were to say like, if we were to go in here and say, cell dot cell data is equal to cell data that is now going to run right and we actually don't even need to unwrap it because that code if it was somehow set it would crash but now that we're setting the cell data to cell data it it exists so it doesn't matter we don't have to unwrap it so that works great all right so that probably didn't explain too much about optionals because i actually thought it was going to go in a different direction but the reason it didn't crash is simply because we never set it, which is the very thing that would make it crash. If we never set the cell data and this code were to run, it would crash. But since this only runs when you set it, this can only be run when there is cell data. So that's what, that's what we need to do. That's how it works, right? That works great. It's actually better code. It's not, I was going to have you write an additional unnecessary line of code basically. All right. So we're good there and we have our data in here. Now what we need to do is we need to basically create our custom layouts, our custom layout that doesn't use the text label on our image view and we need to set it on our own, okay? So let's go ahead and let's look at our app here. Let's see what we have here in the completed app. We need an image on top and then the title on bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here and then because that's gonna be kind of its own kind of thing. And then I'll show you in the next video how we can do that. All right, I'll see you in just a moment.